Hi, I'm Karen from Cafe Bebe, and I'm coming to you today bringing you my first installment in my pregnancy video journal. Um, as many of you may know, I am indeed pregnant at the moment, um, and hopefully for many more moments, um, a lot more moments actually. Um, we found out that I was pregnant a couple weeks ago. I can't keep a secret to save my life, partly because I'm blogging, but also because I can't keep a secret. So we decided to tell friends and family um, a couple weeks ago and um, made the announcement on the blog on Tuesday. And I very much appreciate all the congratulations that we received, and that's been wonderful. Um, so really, unfortunately, we're only about seven and a half weeks along. There's a long way to go, because as most of you know, a pregnancy is 40 weeks. So uh, we've got another 33 weeks to go, so that's a bit of a long time. But today, um, I had my first appointment at the midwife. Um, it was what they call here in the UK, uh, the booking in appointment, where you go and you sit down and you answer a lot of questions and tick a lot of boxes and fill out a lot of this and a lot of that. And you get appointments made for this, that, and the other thing. Um, not terribly interesting, but mainly just getting information down. Um, I did find out that thanks to my age, <clears throat> I am in a different classification for pregnancy and will be automatically referred to a consultant um, who I will see sometime in the hopefully not too distant future to discuss um, my pregnancy, but also discuss delivery options. Um, that's, I think, in part um, due to my age, but also down to the fact that Little Miss was an emergency cesarean, and I will be standing firm on the decision to have an elective cesarean this time around. We had a miserable uh, first labor and delivery of Little Miss. Although she was very healthy and happy, it was not fun. And um, I, I'm not entirely sure that I'm meant to actually birth a child in the traditional way. So, um, hopefully the consultant will approve that decision and we can carry on with the pregnancy knowing that it will end, hopefully, in a calm and controlled manner. Um, I did receive, <clears throat> according to the pregnancy wheel uh, that the uh, midwives use, um, and a preliminary due date for the new bebe in the family, and that is the 11th of December of uh, 2011. That would be a really cool date, actually. 11-12-11. Um, 11, 11. But um, more than likely it won't actually be that date because uh, generally if you do a, a cesarean, elective cesarean, they go about a week before the end of your pregnancy anyway. Um, so we'll have to see how this all goes. But at this juncture, um, within the first two weeks of December, there should be a new bebe in the household, which will be lovely. Um, the, the appointment with the midwife was pretty uneventful. Funny questions that they ask a little bit, and I received many um, things to take away. They give you all these magazines and all these resources, um, which is a bit funny the second time around because you've kind of already done it, but I guess they feel the need to give you, you know, paper. Um, I also have one on Parents' Guide to Money, so if anyone wants this, let me know and I'll be happy to send it to you. <clears throat> but that's the beginning. Um, I do have a due date, or a due, not a due date, I have a, a date for um, our first scan, which is the end of May. So hopefully we'll be able to bring happy news and, and good pictures of hopefully just one baby for the Joyce household. Um, as far as me, how I'm feeling in, in this seventh week of pregnancy, um, not too bad. I'm tired, very tired. I'm feeling generally nauseous most of the time, but I have not had my head in the toilet at all, which is a good thing. Um, I think I've probably put on a little bit of weight, and unfortunately due to my already slightly overweight status, um, I feel like this pregnancy is going to feel considerably more challenging on my middle section. Uh, my stomach is already... <laughs> burgeoning, so uh, there's no point in hiding it anymore. I just wear floaty tops. The one thing I do have going for me is I do have quite thin legs, so I've decided this pregnancy I'll be wearing leggings and floaty tunic tops. May as well, you know, sort of flatter one part of me, so um, anyone who would like to contribute to that is more than welcome. So that's pretty much me for, for week seven of the uh, mini bebe pregnancy. Um, no major cravings, having some fruit cravings, which I had with Little Miss, and for some reason quite drawn to sweet chili sauce, dipping sauce. 
Um, and, you know, things I probably shouldn't be eating, like hash browns and chips. Uh, but, and I, I'm really hoping I don't have any baguette cravings, because as many of you know, I can't have any gluten in my diet. So any bread cravings or proper pasta cravings are going to be met with um, much consternation on my part. So that is week seven in the mini baby pregnancy, and uh, I'll come to you next week, hopefully, with more good news and um, some thoughts about ongoing pregnancy. So have a great week. Thanks very much, and thanks again for all of your wishes of congratulations. We really do appreciate it, and we're very excited. Bye.